All right, so we playing Allen Iverson. We playing Magic Johnson. We playing oh Julius Irvin, Paul George, Jordan. We're playing a pretty decent team. This guy has Shaq and Karl Malone, so it ain't gonna be easy. I'll tell you that. But come on, we got no choice but to hustle. So when you first start a game, you want to start off with a statement, right? Like your first possession. And this dude's first possession, he gets an animal with Magic Johnson. I'm like, are you serious, bro? It's 3-0, but thank God I got Wilt Chamberlain cutting. And this guy's a beast right now. This guy's so good around the rim. And I really got to utilize that. Dude, this is Big Daddy, bro. Come on, man. You guys remember Big Daddy? Big Daddy's a beast. Going to the right. Easy layup. Killing it right now. This 3-4. So it's 5-4 right now. We get the ball with Derrick Rose. I'm looking for a cutter. Nobody really cutting, but I do see Sean Kemp on the right. I thought it was going to be Johnson, but it went in. Sean Kemp just made a three-team STG. I mean, he's all right from the corner. Thank God he was in the corner. But, you know, this guy gets that charge call on me. And I noticed that this dude is really, really trying to do the charge thing. As soon as, you know, I, he did that, I'm like, all right, this guy's going to be doing that charge stuff. And, you know, Iggy's not off to a good start right now. But, you know, after three misses, he finally gets that fourth make. So, we down by two points. I see Sean Kemp cutting. And I love this oop game. Like I told you guys, it's really, really easy to start ooping in this game when they're close around the rim. You just got to throw it up there, and they're going to catch it. Like in the beginning of 2K14, I was really, really prejudiced toward the toward, toward the oops. I thought they were a lot harder. I mean, as you can see, that dude that dude's doing that charge stuff, but I thought they were really impossible. But now, he's doing it again. Now that I realize, it's actually really, really simple to do charges, and I mean to do uh, oops. As you can see, we just ooped it to Shaq right there. So I'm loving what's going on so far. We having a lot of fun ooping into Shaq. Look at that. Just throw it out there. They're going to catch. And that's my tip of the day. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on it. But look at Dr. J with the and one over Shaq. Completely annihilated him. I thought it was Kobe for a second. Then I realized, yo, that's Shaq. So I'm going to shoot this three right here. Excellent release. D quality. But yo, it's tough, man. Any quality doesn't really matter. So he gets this three to go, unfortunately for me. I'm down by three points. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie it up before we go to uh, second quarter. So I'm going to give it to Wesley Matthews. He's going to go in the corner. And Wesley Matthews gets us a three. I love Wesley so much, man. You guys know that he's been with me for so long. And look at Derrick Rose trying to go over Kobe. He's trying to go for that charge. We get the and one. We make the free throw. You know how it goes. Carl Malone finds the ball, gives it to Jordan, who gets an and one. I'm like, are you serious, dude? I mean, let's be real. Once Jordan has his decision made to drive to the rim, you ain't stopping him. And we know that Jordan in this game, it doesn't matter what year Jordan it is, does not miss a three-point shot. Let's be real. It's just the way 2K runs. But we find, uh, we find Will. You know, Big Daddy ain't giving up. Derrick Rose and Wilt's having that connection. This guy trying to do that charge crap. So, you know what we got to do? We got to pull for three because that's what this guy deserves. So, we down by five points right now. I got the ball with Steph. This guy could give me all that space. I'm going to shoot the ball with Steph. And I'm loving what Steph is doing off the bench for us right now. Currently, we got the ball with Iggy. And we're going to take it all the way. We got to dunk it. I mean, he's struggling right now. Let's be real. He really is. But, you know, he's going to make those shots. And I find Sam Jones in the corner. He should have made that. We got the double team. Everything worked out well, but he's going to make it up right here. We find him again, and you look. You miss once, it's fine. You cannot give up on your team, and we make that three with Sam Jones, and this game is actually really, really close. Believe it or not, we're going to tie it up right here. It's a tie game at halftime, and check this crap out. We get a stop, right? I see my boy Larry Johnson cutting. This guy's going to get the 360 dunk, man. 3.3 seconds left to go, and this guy does have some two-second offense in his arsenal, or three, if you will. Takes it all the way with Kobe at the buzzer. So now we're at the third quarter, Team SCG. I'm going to get some fadeaway action. I got that space. Sam Jones is a beast mid-range, so I was confident in my fadeaway. I got the ball with D-Rose. This guy was just too slow, and D-Rose is just too fast. And we still down by five points, man. To make it worse, this guy gets the rebound. And we're we going to try getting a block. It didn't really work out too well. He gets an and one. We down by six points. And every time I think I have a run, this guy does it to me. Man, this guy with that charge crap, he deserves that three in his face. Trying to get me with that charge call. So, you know, we try to get a rebound. Really didn't work out too well. Jerry West gets the ball. He's going to pull for three. He doesn't miss in this game. And now, again, we are trailing by six points. And it really is frustrating. But I got an easy lane. And nobody's stopping Iggy in the dunk. And I know I'm really talking about the commentary a lot. Instead of, you know, re regular real-life stuff. But, I mean, this game is just too intense. So we get this steal. I see Derrick Rose. I'm not going to risk the oop. Because the oops, you know, I'm getting a lot of turnovers this game. And I get this steal. Larry Johnson trying to go for the dunk. But if he wants to pull and make it, that's totally fine with me. We tie this game up. As you can see, it's still tremendously close. We see Shaq on that pick and roll, and nobody's stopping him in the easy pain around the rim, whatever I just said. I don't even know. But check out this little teardrop. Oh, it wasn't a teardrop, but it was a layup. 
I thought he was gonna go for that teardrop, but we get a one point lead right here. I find Sam Jones and we make it a three point lead entering the fourth too. And you know it's it's it's, it's getting intense, man. I see Wesley Matthews with this little jumper. Wesley doing work. It's a four point game. They got the ball right here. Magic Johnson sees Allen Iverson. Look at that defense by Wesley, man. He is hustling off the bench, and that's what I want to see. This is Team Hart. Wesley Matthews is the epitome of heart, bro. Jerry West gets his three to go. I'm like, come on, man. I'm, I'm getting frustrated because every time I, I'm trying to pull away, this guy gets me right back. But I get this opening lane, and now I get my little teardrop to go. My little floater. Jerry West can handle that. So it's a three-point game. He obviously sees Melo, but he doesn't want to pass to him. He does see Dr. J. Dr. J is just going to annihilate me at the rim again. He gets the and one goaltending, man. Are you serious? Man, Dr. J is doing work, but not today. Finally, Will Chamberlain, you know, plays well on defense, gets that block, and look at Wesley Matthews getting the shot to go. This guy is coming off the bench like a phenom right now. This guy is killing it right now. I got the ball with D. Rose trying to take it all the way, getting triple team, quadruple team, Massey Wesley, and he gets the three to go. Wesley, the epitome of heart, Team STG. We get this deal. I see Wesley all the way. I could oop it, and I'm going to do that. And Derrick Rose misses it. Are you serious right now? D Rose just missed the oop, and look at Melo with the one hand jam. We finally lose the lead. It's a one point game. Are you serious right now? Like, what the heck is going on? I see Iggy, though. He gets his dunk, and we gain the lead again. It's a one point game, and we just going back and forth. That's, that's exactly what we do. We're going back and forth, but Iggy. Misses that shot, man. He misses the layup. He never misses that. But Wesley playing defense. He's coming out of nowhere. I could go for the oop. But Wesley wants to go all the way. Wesley Matthews is coming alive with 24 seconds left to go. We try to go all the way with Iggy because he's our closer. He's a captain. And we do get the ball back. And I got the ball. I'm trying to find Sam Jones right here. Just trying to pass it out. But look at this defense they're playing. Jordan, Shaq, and everybody. Johnson. And look at that block by Stephen Curry. We get a stop, we win. We get a stop, we win. Stephen Curry not giving up on the play. I made a judge call and put Steph instead of Rose because Rose is really tired. So now we got to play some double team action. No three for Paul George. I see Magic Johnson will be playing good defense. And no, Dr. J can't shoot a three. Dr. J can't shoot a three team SCG. We won this game with some defense, with some heart. Derrick Rose, you know, had some, you know, calls that I wasn't really happy with, but he had six steals, 11 assists, 15 rebounds. He got the player of the game. You'll notice that Iggy had a horrible game, 5 for 14, but, you know, he made some big time shots. And, you know, Wesley Matthews is the player of the game, in my opinion. Came off the bench, missed one shot, had 14 points, and played with a lot of heart. The 11 assists for Derrick Rose, that's definitely saying something, Team SCG. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace.